today's video, I will show you how to load ROMs and BIOS files in the R36S handheld video game console. So, for this uh, video game console, there are two um, TFT ports or micro SD ports, one on the left side, right here, one on the right side. This one has an operating system. And this one is just an extra, you could put an extra micro SD card in here. Just push in, and it just comes out like that to get the micro SD card. So if you have an extra empty micro SD card, I think it could be anywhere from 32 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes. Um, micro SD card. You could um, format it on your computer first if it isn't already formatted and just put it in here like that just push it in and then just turn it on first just let it boot up Okay, just like that, and go to options. Just go down, just keep pressing down until you see options. Right here, press A to get in here. Go to advanced, press A. Go to switch to SD2 for ROMs right there. If you have an empty micro SD card, it's going to copy all the files and everything so you could have all the folders which are necessary. Okay, so this is in. So what I want to do now is I want to go to my computer and um, basically put some ROMs into that micro SD card. So I'm going to go here and shut down the thing first. I'll shut down. I'm going to get this micro SD card out. This is the second one. This, is, this isn't the one with the OS or operating system in it. I'm going to put it into a micro SD card reader. Let me get that. So, micro SD card reader, I'm going to put it in here and put it into my computer. Insert this into my computer. And I'll see you there next. Okay, so now I'm back on my computer. So, I'm going to uh, insert the uh, micro SD USB card reader now that's in my computer so this is what that this is what the R36S with the ARC OS operating system copied into my micro SD card copied all this so I have some ROMs here so I'm going to put that in one of these folders. I'm going to put it into the PC Engine. NES. And SNES. That's Super Nintendo. We also have a BIOS folder here. If you have any BIOS files, you can put them in here as well. I think I'll put the one for um, Neo Geo CD. Let, let me get Neo Geo CD as well. 
I'll show you how to use Neo Geo CD emulator while I'm doing this as well. That's one of the emulators that this um, video game console did not come with. Okay, that's done. I'm just going to put one game in there. That's good enough. We have to put the BIOS for the Neo Geo in the BIOS folder. We have to call it Neo CD. That's what we call it. Let me get the BIOS files for it. Neo Geo CD, okay. I think it's this one here. I'll just put that into Neo CD. It's called Neo CDs. I think that's the BIOS file for that. Okay, that's good. So that's the BIOS file that I need. So make sure you put the BIOS files for the emulator set require it. Uh, the emulators that require BIOS files would be Dream, say, uh, Sega Dreamcast, Sony PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. I don't think you could use a PlayStation 2 on this single board computer. It's probably not going to be possible. Commodore Amiga, you'll need a BIOS file for it. I think they're called Kickstarter files or something. That's about it and other 3DO requires a uh, BIOS file, so that's what I'm. That's what I have to do for putting the ROMs in there. So that's all done. So I'm gonna going to go back to my R36S and I'm gonna see if uh, the ROMs that I put in there are in there. So I'll be. I'll see you there. Now I'm back. I'm going to put this back in to here. Turn it back on. If it's in there, okay. This that one doesn't work. Let's try something else.
since we'll switch the emulator, I guess I'll go to start. Let's try this one. Like this I don't think it would like this game. Neo Geo CD, let's try this. It does work. If you want to switch back, you can go to options. Just like here. And we'll go back to advanced. Go to switch to main SD for ROMs. That's the one with the operating system. So we could go back and forth like that. Now I'm back. And again I could go back as well. And I'll show you one more thing. Go back to the second SD card. But the thing is when we switch back to the second SD card, we have to restart Arc OS to get everything back. I don't have anything here, so I gotta just restart. Go to quit, start, quit. Restart system, yes. And after I restart it, I should be able to see everything again. I prefer to put the ROMs in the second micro SD card port versus putting it in here. That's just my preference. So you could have two micro SD cards, one here and one there. But I prefer to use this one for ROMs. And I could kind of like use this as a ROM cartridge like thing. So I could have multiple micro SD cards. I could have another one that's 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes while just using this one just for the operating system so that's what I want to show you today if you have any questions you could leave it in the comment section below and thanks for watching